Uh, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I'm trying to um, get a sense from half a world away of what's happening in Louisiana uh, with this uh, tropical storm or hurricane, choose your uh, terminology. Um, and it's rather hard from uh, half a world away. And it seems to me that the mainstream media and the authorities are not really telling people uh, the full story. So the first thing that I've done, and I've got a lot of my information on this uh, from uh, my friend Margot, so all thanks to her. Uh, I'm just going to show you, this is the forecast with the cumulative accumulated precipitation and this goes from July the 11th through to I think I don't know when it ends but let's let's just start this off if I can find it uh, yeah so this is into the 12th uh, So that red is about 12 inches and it's going into kind of much, uh, yeah, much more than that. And here it's going into uh, Louisiana and I think it's the state of Mississippi. And that's, that's. So we'll just run that through one more time. Now the thing is, there's some quite good information coming out, but it's all on YouTube and so forth from alternative media. I just really can't see anywhere in mainstream media where they're really telling people how bloody serious this is. I mean, you know, the Mississippi has already been in flood and there's been rain uh, for days and days already. And this is happening on top of it. And this is going to go on for maybe, who knows, several days, maybe a week. We don't know. And it's uh, behaving in quite a different way. It's very, very slow moving. So this rain is just going to settle. So um, I found this. This is from Hal Turner. And in this case, I mean, he can, uh, he can be a bit melodramatic. But this is a reasonably good um, uh, report in that it, it kind of uh, tallies with a lot of what other people are saying. So I'm going to use this today. So he says, levee breaches and overtopping near New Orleans, water pouring in. A levee has breached near New Orleans and water is pouring through as of 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time near New Orleans and Hurricane Barry has not even fully arrived. Now, I was told last night that the uh, it was going to make landfall at about 2 o'clock in the morning. So that was uh, 10 a.m. So it just shows how uh, slow moving this is. Uh, but as it's hit land, and this is also unusual, uh, the, uh, the storm has actually strengthened and is now a Category 1 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 74 miles an hour and gusts up to 87 miles per hour. And I don't think that that's really the problem. I think that the problem is with all the um, uh, the moisture, the rain on top of what we've already had. So already 63,000 customers are without electric power in Louisiana. Um, So as of 10.25 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, reports are coming in from Plaquemine Parish that levees are being overtopped by storm surge. And this is near uh, New Orleans. This is off from what kind of, we're, we're told that the storm kind of spared New Orleans. And first responders are battling rising water that is overtopping a back levee system that protects some parts of the Plaquemine Parish from coastal flooding.
So he talks about how the water is overflowing the levees in Jefferson Lake and Point Celeste. Um, that they're mounting rescue people to save people who didn't uh, chose not to leave. But also, uh, what he's not pointing out is that uh, people uh, were told weren't told to evacuate, and they were told to uh, to stay where they were. And I'll show you in a minute why that wasn't perhaps such a good idea. So this is this is from the uh, the National Hurricane. Uh, center. So he's. Um, so I'll just I'll, I'll just go through this. I'll leave the uh, the link below. But when you've got stuff like this, this looks like a, a perhaps a truck. And um, if that happens, you know well. You know, as he says, the water came in so fast they couldn't escape. So what happened to these people, I don't know. And then he's provided an update. A levee's topped at Bayou du Lage in Terrebonne Parish. Everyone south of Falgust Canal is now in mandatory evacuation. They're going door to door. I don't know where these places are. I haven't looked it up on the map. So anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, from down under.